right. Alien. The original Alien. Alien. Have you? Is this the first time that you've seen it? First time. Last time. Oh, not a fan? Probably. Uh, no, I mean, it was okay, but I, 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 I don't see myself watching it again. Yeah. I, uh, I might, I've seen, horrible. I've seen alien bits and pieces. I don't even know how many times at this point, but this I've is, seen, this is the first time I've ever seen it from beginning yeah. to end. Like I've seen all the clips. I've probably seen the movie five times through, but never <laughs> from start to finish before yeah. this, this watch. Okay. And it doesn't it it doesn't make a lot more sense uh in order. Like I do like it, it at least it doesn't watching it out of order isn't harder to follow. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um it was the same with the Predator. That's how I felt about the Predator too. It was just kinda like each scene was while in order, kind of felt separate from everything. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like, yeah. This definitely felt like a bunch of mini movies. Yeah, like a collection of scenes, not necessarily one one story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yes. It was. It was really slow getting off. Yes. And then it kind of picked up around the middle, and then we ended at a leisurely pace. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a lot more uh, fighting in this a lot more fighting. Yeah. So did I, but, um, I think that's in the next ones. Well, there's like 30 of them, I guess. Yeah. There's six thousand. Wow. And we're going to watch all of them, Taylor. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. (laughs) I'm looking forward to doing alien versus predator. Cause that (sighs) me and Aaron talked about it on the other podcast we did last Uh week or last two days ago, depending on when you're listening to this. Um, I'm listening today. (laughs) <laughs> um but so we're doing the predator me and Aaron are gonna do all the predator movies which is four me and you are gonna do all the mm-hmm. alien movies which is four and then there's the two new prequels but we can do that separate then we're all okay. gonna come together and do alien versus predator right now and then it, it'll okay. be a battle to the death and the two co-hosts or the two hosts who survive it will just take over the show completely i get to continue i like it yeah i mean that's my way out you and aaron win then i'll I'll just be gone i'll be dead that so, will be hard to facilitate we'll figure it out <laughs> yeah you, so some of you guys are gonna have to come get the equipment <laughs> well yeah but, so uh, why don't you break uh, down alien's story i can certainly try so this takes place uh at some point in the future i don't know if it ever gave a year no it didn't give a year and it, it kind of is like really far into the future. It's right, not where space space is a, a common thing. Yeah. Cause I like, like it, like voyaging. These guys were like long road truckers, long haul truckers, basically. Yeah. Like they're just smoking the whole time and just kind of, they weren't scientists. They weren't, you know what I mean? Like what you think of astronauts and all that space. They marine were explorers. But they were just kind of like, grumpy and angry the whole time yeah that's true grumpy and, and angry complaining about overtime pay and or bonuses and stuff like that you know what I mean? like yeah bonus stuff yeah I, I thought they built that up really well the uh the whole idea of like this isn't fancy this is like, dirty it's, it's this casual is, to be in space yeah 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 so i don't actually they're on some expedition and I'm not gonna lie. A lot of this movie was a little too dark for me to see what was going on. Oh, visually, I, th- I wasn't yeah. sure if you meant emotionally. Emotionally, I couldn't keep my eyes open. Um, but they encounter. I don't. Know, are they on a planet? Or where do they encounter the? Okay, the so remains? they're they're bringing back. Um, I can't remember what it is. They're bringing back a lot of supplies. Mm-hmm. It was like fuel or, or some type of fuel. I want to say. Oh, it was it was mineral. It was ore. It was like ore. Uh, right. it was like a million tons or something like yeah. that. In the slowest ship ever, that ship was going oh, so yeah. slow. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But so they're they're transporting that back, and on the way they hear a distress signal, and right. because of the distress signal, the computer or the spaceship 
wakes them wakes them up out of their their deep sleep their hyper sleep and uh the law is you have to go and help someone out if there's a distress signal it's the good samaritan law from seinfeld pretty much it's similar to um i don't know if you ever watched um deadliest catch but like that's what would no. happen when a boat would go down everyone would stop working and they would go try to help each other mm-hmm. because you don't have anyone else like yeah it's you got to help because it could be you next time and you're gonna mm-hmm. want you know what i mean you want that mentality in place because there's no help you know out in the ocean or out in space whatever like you're just stranded you're gonna die and uh yeah so they decide okay let's go help them out they go and land and they realize that everyone is dead and one guy gets attacked by the face hugger which is is that what they called it uh, i think that's what it is called maybe that's just the idiom maybe um that's what i've always known it called as okay i don't know what the technical name is but one of the Face worst, up. worst designed aliens. Like, uh, it looks good, but like for my mind as a kid, one of the more oh, terrifying yeah. things, just the idea of it, you know, latching on your face, bleeding acid and impregnating oh, you through your mouth. Ugh. Everything is just wrong. <laughs> yeah. So that was rough. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so that happens, and then they are trying to figure out a way to remove it from the guy. Yeah, there is. So there's like the captain, uh, Dallas, I believe his name was. Okay, and then there was Ash, who was Bilbo Baggins. Oh, is that who that was? Okay, I knew. Yeah. I couldn't. I, like this guy looks so familiar, but I can't place him. That makes more sense. Yeah, um, he kind of snarls the same way. Yeah. And then, so they're trying to figure it out, and Ash seems more interested in, like, observing the, the alien creature and yeah. kind of which seeing, seeing what it can do instead of actually trying to save the guy. Yeah, so we find out that Ash is actually a robot programmed... Spoilers. That far. <laughs> programmed to... That was wild by the way did you know that yeah i knew it that had been like oh, i said I, i'd seen a bunch of this already uh so he was programmed to care about the aliens more than people like that was his mission sacrifice well, yeah, his mission was to bring back a specimen yeah if he runs Even across it one means the whole crew dies yeah which i assume every uh every robot it, robot is programmed that way Right, like, because there's no way that they knew, because it was a weird point, because they're like, I don't trust Ash. He doesn't seem trustworthy. They swapped him out at the last minute, but there's no reason for them to know or assume that he would have came across all that. Yeah. Right, like there's nothing that would have led the people to thinking that was going to happen. I uh, yeah, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, so. He's so he's got that in his head. He keeps breaking protocol to keep the alien alive and on the ship, and it doesn't go super well for everyone. So the alien is is birthed from the uh, the man's chest. Yes, which is a probably the most iconic scene. Yeah, just which, because it's it's kind of been done a lot. I kind of thought that was at and, the end of the movie. I thought. Yeah, me too. You know why? I figured it out. Spaceballs? Yeah. It's because of Spaceballs. That's how Spaceballs ends. I didn't even know for the longest time what that was a reference to. I just, oh, really? It's, and it's even the same guy, which makes yeah. sense when you watch Spaceballs because he says, not again, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yes, I think um, so. Something, something along those lines. Um. Yeah, so I yeah, it, I guess because it's at the end of Spaceballs, it implies, or I guess it makes you think it's, it's like a cli- uh, climatic ending type 
thing, but it's pretty fairly early. Yeah, I mean, it's the first. Well, other than the face hugger thing, it's the first interaction. Yeah, with Alien. So he's the first one so, to die. He has the the. He obviously dies. Yeah. The uh, the alien bursts out of his chest and he dies. And then it's 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 not very big, and it runs off. This alien grows so fast. Oh, very fast. And I don't know how. I don't think you're supposed to because it doesn't make any sense, right? And well, aliens. Here's the thing. As far as I know, here's aliens what you are might not real. know is it's an alien, and they have their own rules. That's true. as far as they're growing. Yeah, but exponential uh, growth. Generally, you need to sustain growth, right? Like some form uh, no. of calories. The thing just grew. It like quadrupled in size. Oh, more than that. Well, I mean, it I became mean, bigger than a human. I mean, uh, exponentially, like it doubled and it doubled and it doubled again. Yeah. And it uh, just kept getting bigger and bigger until it was huge. What do you think of the uh, the alien costume in this one? Um, f- again, hard to see, which I'm sure that was kind of part of the plan, but it was hard to f- tell. Like, I couldn't tell where the head was, what the face was. Oh. I mean, I know what alien looks like just because it's been around forever. Yeah. But even knowing that it was hard to identify it, like in that, like that last scene where it's, she's trying to escape or whatever. Yeah. 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 It was hard to place. Yeah, like, uh, it was kind of starting to make me mad. <laughs> I was uh, like, just stop moving for one second, please. I would like to see. It made me and my wife laugh every time it came on screen. It looks so goofy in this one, and I know oh, it gets well. The, the more... baby alien looked the ba- to me. The like, baby that alien. mouth, yeah, is is ridiculous. Uh, the baby alien like looked... the, with the perfect straight teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but even the big one, uh, like I've. In my head, it's so imposing and so scary, and I think it gets to that point, and it gets better, and they like get better at filming it. But in this one, it was just so stiff, which was something that I thought was kind of funny with Predator Two, uh, not Predator Two, but Predator also is mm-hmm. the costume, the guy's gloves, like he couldn't use his fingers, you know, like it was just so <laughs> so thick. And that's yeah. I had the same feeling watching this. I was like, oh wow, this while visually impressive as a statue looks terrible when it's moving around yeah and uh, and it's just a product of its time right like it's not it's not that they did a bad job they did an exceptional job especially for the time but now it's kind of comical to look at i would say that yeah watching it you can you can tell it's old right it's because it came out in 79 and it's but it doesn't feel like um uh, okay, I don't know how to explain it, but how kind of Jurassic Park still holds up, right? Yeah. Even though you can tell it's an older movie, mm. it, you don't watch it and think this is groundbreaking. Yeah. It was at the time, but it still looks good. That's how I feel about this. Like you can tell it's old, yeah, but it's not so old that it just looks ridiculous. Well, Jurassic Park spent a lot of time in getting them to move naturally. I heard they studied real dinosaurs to yeah. get the movements. Right. Yep. They lived with dinosaurs for six months to get six an understanding. Months. Yeah. It's crazy. That, that's crazy. Um, but in this, it didn't really move. Almost all the time it was on screen, yeah. it was just kind of standing there. Yeah. Um Yeah, I kind of wanted to see it more, but what ifs? <laughs> Um, so let's see what else happens. So then now this alien is loose and they are trying to find it. One dude, they, okay. So, uh, someone who was it Ash makes the device. Am, yeah. Is that correct? The tracking device. The, yeah. yeah. It but they, checks the, like the air, air density, air pressure or whatever. Yeah. And they're hunting it down and then they find Jones, the cat. Yeah, which, which never cat is used like three times as a jump scare, but it's never um, shown before, right? Like they don't establish that they have a cat. The cat just. Right, I was wondering. I was like, was the cat in the hypersleep with them, or just hanging out for like years? Yeah, because it just it's just like jump scare. Oh, now there's a cat on board. Like, oh yeah, remember we have a cat, guys. Go get him. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, no, that was weird. It was a strange choice to do, just to throw in there. Yeah, they should have established that there is a cat. Yeah, because uh, then it's just a cheap jump scare. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, did you find this movie scary at all? No. No. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm we, sure I we spent more time yeah. laughing than stressed at all. Right. But at I'm the sure time, would have, it would, at the time, it would have been scary. Yeah. I feel the same way with like Jaws. I remember the first time I ever saw the movie Jaws, I was a kid and it was a, a pool party, which was evil. And <laughs> whose <laughs> pool party was this? I, don't I think know. you've told me this before. Yeah. I don't remember whose pool it was. But uh, yeah, I was terrified of Jaws. But now if well, you watch the, it, the it's thing so though is. It it is goofy, but at least it's plausible, right? That could happen. People yeah. get attacked by sharks all the time. Very few people actually get attacked by aliens, so it's it's less likely to happen. And plus, you kind of have to go to space for your chances to get even remotely close. Yeah, but I mean, it's all based on world building, right? Like you're saying with Jurassic Park, that's not real, but that was scarier, you know? Like, oh, terrifying. Like the raptor scene when in the kitchen, or I mean, the the scariest part, honestly, is the electric fence. That's always been the yeah. most stressful part to me in that movie. I'm always uh, even now. I'm like, just thinking about it makes me nervous. Get off the fence, kid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Jones a cat gets by them, and they have to go find it because now it's going to screw up with um, the tracking device. They're like, yeah. Well, because the guy was like, it's just a cat. Just let it go. And they're like, we can't because it's going to get, it's going to mess up the tracking device. Uh, Plague says more people get killed by hippos every year than shark attacks. The more you know. And then, uh, um, why can't I say that word? It's pronounced Yeah, <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Illumination all it. Illuminal in in Dominus Rex. In Dominus Rex. What is the word? Why can't I say it? Illuminati? Illuminati. Illuminati. Uh, Illuminati. Yeah, sharks are actually not that deadly, um, and it's generally kind of an accident when they kill people. At least that's what they say. Maybe. Uh, Ooh, the sharks. Was that <laughs> bad? Yeah. Well, they think it's, it's a seal. An accident, they say. Did <laughs> yeah. the shark tell you that? That's what the PR team for the sharks say. <laughs> they have a great PR guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it, makes, it makes the sharks the victims in the shark attacks. Uh, hippos, hippos are mean too. They're oh, not, hippos are monsters. I saw a few of them on safari, and it was stressful. I saw one in Jumanji recently. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. They have to find Jones a cat. Who dies next? Is it the black guy? No. no so it was guy. Harry Dean Stanton. He, the guy who goes after the cat. Yeah. He ends up in a in a room where obviously the alien is, and then it. He, I think it. For, so is the alien shedding its skin? Is that what he finds? Yeah, because it's growing so fast, it just rips out of its right. skin. It would have been funny at like towards the end of the movie had they find like a humongous human sized skin shed. Well, they should, right? Like there should be like 20 it different be stages. Right? Not just the one. Do you think it just like. And then he doesn't even like. He's like, oh, okay. Well, this is kind of gross. I'm going <laughs> to keep looking for that. Do you think it grew like Super Mario Brothers? Or is it Super Mario Brothers? Like Mario? Just he got the mushroom and was like. Doo -doo 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 -doo, became the, the alien. Yeah, that could be. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? It does make perfect sense. Um, also, if you were that guy and you saw that, wouldn't you be like, oh, that alien is probably in this room. Or he, he was very recently. Yeah. I'm going to not continue this looking for cat. Um, well, I wouldn't be scared of that alien, I don't think. I guess, I mean, I guess your friend's chest just burst open, so... That would be scary. But. Yeah, and it's got the acid. And it does have the acid. That's true. Maybe I would be scared of it. But it's like it's like a chihuahua. You could just stomp on that thing. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess in in this universe, aliens do, are aliens are known to exist because no one seemed like surprised by the existence of an alien. Just that it was there. Yeah, they don't establish that either. So yeah, is it like a although a thing that's just like oh yeah, this is an alien? I can't remember. Does someone talk about how 
people are going to be mad that they don't bring it back. Or was that my wife? Oh, your wife is going to be mad if they didn't bring it back? No, she know. said, could you imagine finding the first species of alien and then destroying it? Uh, <laughs> How mad yeah, it would be? Know. People, if this happened, people want you to die. Yeah, that would be, be happy that you died. Yeah, that, that would be their expectation. It's like, you you killed it? It's like, yeah, well, it's going to kill me. Like, so what? I, so? We have a lot of humans. You should die, yeah. Ripley. Come on now. Believe it or not. So. I have not so, yes, seen the thing okay. before. Sorry. Plague's ass. Neither. Have we seen the thing before? That was a good scary movie. I have not seen it. I don't. Is that I've old saw, one or the new one? Isn't there a newer one? Like a remake? Uh, I don't know if there's a remake, but I haven't seen the old one either. Um, I was never I, a fan of scary movies as a kid. So I kind of skipped them all. And now I realize that was dumb. Yeah, me too. Um, but just to clarify, you didn't skip uh, Child's Play, correct? I did not skip Child's Play. <laughs> Remakes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think he's mad at wait, you too. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is it? What wasn't it? Not just made not that long ago. The thing. I have no idea. Isn't he in uh, the Fantastic Four? Is yeah, that what you're thinking of? So there was one in 1982, and then there was one in 2011. Have you seen the remake, know. Plagues? What is that face supposed to be? Dan's game. What is that? It looks angry, but I don't know. There's a lot of different faces on Twitch that... Uh, <laughs> he said 1982 is the only one that he'll accept. There's a, they, use, uh, they don't really use emojis. They have a lot of... Uh, different inside things that I don't really know super well. I kind of feel yeah, like I don't know. I don't know any of those. No, yeah. but I'm going to uh, use them. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that guy dies. Yes. A uh, third one to die is the captain. Yeah. So they realize that the alien is using the air ducts to move around. Yeah. And so, the captain goes in the air. I'm trying to remember what happened. Uh, they're trying to isolate him. And then he dies at some point. I don't really remember exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, man. We are good at this. Because this is kind of where I was starting. I was dozing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So people, pretty much everyone ends up dying. and they don't, None of them have like a spectacular death. Um. It all just kind of happens. Uh, yeah. Nothing really stood out to me while watching it. Ripley Ripley ends up being the last survivor, and she's about to self-destruct the ship and is getting on the escape pod. And before she gets on the escape pod, grabs the stupid cat again. Which, who cares about that cat? Let that cat blow up in space. Oh, jeez. No, I don't even care. That cat <laughs> should be dead. Uh, cat deserves it. She, well, no, she's being chased by an alien. She doesn't know where it's at. And she's going to carry yeah. around that giant uh, crate with the cat in it. I mean, maybe set the cat free. But even that, that seems like taking too much time. <laughs> yeah. What um, would you do? Would you save no. the cat? Nope. No, absolutely not. Would you save a dog? I, I, I would save my dog. That's it. Would you save your kids? Uh, I would save one of them. <laughs> Do you want to say which one? Which one. <laughs> um, I like to tell them. I like to tell them. Or if people ask them, like, look, I love all my kids. I don't have a favorite, but I do have a least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. So she, she gets on the escape pod, gets away from the ship right when it blows up. Well, I, I, before that, I want to talk about the robot reveal of Ash. Oh, that yeah. was bonkers to me. And before it was even really starting to be like revealed, I had so many different thoughts going through my head. Yeah. So he was, he was, he, he'd gone to rogue at this point, and then it looked like he was like had a either like a tear or sweat, but it was milk. white. Yeah, it looked like milk. 
Pinocchio. And I was like, oh, something's definitely happened to him. So I'm like, okay. And then he starts acting erratic, and I'm thinking he's possessed by the alien. Like, it poisoned him or something like that. So then he's 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 like choking her out with the magazine. Yeah. Which was weird. She she weird was choice. so uh complicit in that too. <laughs> like Oh, for sure. He he took the magazine and put it in her mouth and you can just see the actress like Sigourney Weaver just open her mouth to ah. let him do it. <laughs> like there's you can't, it wouldn't be that hard to keep a magazine out of your mouth. Like it wasn't right. like he was snapping her teeth oh, off oh. or anything. He just she was just like, "All right, I guess I'm doing this." Just get this over with. Also, what a weird way to. He was like trying to kill her, right? Yeah. What was? Why, why? he, he why wasn't like trying to put her? something down her throat? Like he wasn't making a funnel. Is my question. Right. He just was like, "This is the only way." <laughs> but he he was super strong. He just threw her across the room. He could have yeah. just snapped her neck. Just crushed her head. And he's like, no, I'm doing the magazine thing. I saw this in, <laughs> on the internet one time. So what was, okay, what was the black guy's name? He was, uh, I don't remember any other names other than Ripley. Yeah, I don't remember. So he came to help her, but then like, I didn't, he was like standing next to them, kind of helping. I, I couldn't figure out why he wasn't just like attacking the robot. Yeah. He was like, I don't know. But then is it Parker? <laughs> then the robot like Parker, yeah, I think that's right. He just like scratches him or digs into his chest with his fingernails. And it's like ah and he like <laughs> humbles. Which was I don't know, it was just weird. But yeah. anyways he ends up swinging something at him and smashing him and his head kind of flops off but not like completely yeah. like it's, it's attached and at that point the my, my first thought was oh wow the alien has gotten a hold of this guy and like completely hollowed him out <laughs> yeah and he's like a shell of a person being controlled and it was just like the white stuff going everywhere i was like this is the wildest thing i've ever seen <laughs> I, I could not comprehend that there there would be a robot like i just did not see that coming yeah yeah no i knew it was a robot um it, that had somehow gotten spoiled for me at some point. I mean, like I said, I've seen this, uh, like, cause it used to, I want to say it used to play on like TNT or TBS all the time. And so like yeah. flipping through the channels, I would watch a little bit here and there. But, uh, yeah, w as soon as he started doing all the shady stuff, I was like, oh, he's, he's the robot. I get it now. <laughs> so that was wild. So then they destroy him. But then they bring him back. Yeah, and that so cut. <laughs> they so they have the fake head on the table, and they cut a hard. They like overimpose or uh, I don't even know what to call it. They they because they don't cut away. They just superimpose superimposed it right on top, and uh, it looked. It was pretty, a weird shot. Yeah, it, it didn't. Had they cut away and cut back to it, I think it might have played a little better. But I was just cracking up when that, that happened. So they get him back and they kind of ask him questions. He answers because, I mean, why not at that point? Yeah. Uh, and then they destroy him again. Yeah. But I like how they bring him back just by kind of zapping different areas of the base of his neck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's he's like, a robot. Zap, zap. That's true. <laughs> uh, so they bring him back. He answers some questions about his, his missions, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And then they destroy him again. Uh, with fire. So now it's just Ripley, Parker, and the other woman. I don't remember her name either. Yeah. So they decide that they're going to take their chances and get in the escape pod. Uh, yeah, the escape pod. Which and then just destroy I, the ship. I kind of had a problem with this because okay. I feel like they could have just closed the doors. Like to the to like, just block it in one room or trap it in a room. Block themselves in one room. But then, could they get home? Like block themselves where they, you know, fly the ship. Yeah, but they're so far away. Or block themselves in the hyperbaric chamber room. But then, 
There's no way that alien's getting through any of those doors. You don't think he could destroy things as he gets bigger? How big is he going to get? Well, who knows? We we never got to see. I guess that's Ten true. more minutes, he could have been triple his size. I guess they could be worried about acid. Fine. That's, that thing ate through like three layers of, of ship. That is true. That was crazy. Yeah. Anyways, continue. Um, so they decide they're going to take the pod and they're going to destruct the ship with it on it. They don't care what the... Whoever, who are they talking to on the computer? Mother. It's but the, who, like, is that NASA? No, it's a CPU. But like, like, is it a person? No, it's a computer. Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ship's computer. It's what's running the program. But why does the ship want them to bring the alien back? That's what it was programmed to do. Okay, that's fine. I, I get that. That's the problem. With AI. Oh, I guess they're gonna get, yeah. It's going to kill all the people. Same as a robot, right? Very true. Um, so uh, they're trying to escape. They're trying to blow the ship up. They have like 10 minutes. And then I don't know what happened, but I feel like I looked down for like 30 seconds. Yeah. And then everyone was dead. Pretty much. So how did they die? Parker I, and the girl. I don't remember. That's why I was trying to skip this part earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then so they're still alive, but they get abandoned on the ship. Yeah, pretty much. They're they're just hanging out. Um, but yeah, and, so Ripley is on the escape pod. Ship blows up behind her. She like barely makes it away with the stupid cat, yeah. which that cat, again, should be dead. Uh, Freaking Joe. But then the alien is trapped in the escape pod behind all the wires. And I was like, how did that happen? And why was it wasn't was it just hiding? I think it was stuck. But what was it hiding from? Why would it be hiding? It wasn't scared of anything. It didn't know it was yeah. going to blow up. That's true. I don't know. But she sneaks her way into a suit. Like a, I don't know, like an space astronaut suit. suit. Yeah. Space suit. Seals it up, sings a song, and then uh, opens up the the, hatch. The, the the doors or whatever, and the alien flies out. He grabs on. She shoots it with like well, like a grappling hook. Yeah. And then it uh, gets blown away, but then it's still there because the grappling hook gets caught in the door. So then it's hanging over by like what is I don't know the thrusters. I guess you can call it. Yeah. And then she turns that on, and then. Burns. Burns. Burns, burns, burns. And she's got like 10 weeks before she's found by anybody else or something like that. It made me laugh because of uh, Infinity War. That's what uh, Spider-Man says. He's like, hey, did you ever see that really old movie, Aliens? Oh, really? See, I wouldn't have even... Yeah. Because that's what what they do to uh, the guy... Yeah, to that guy. Who's punishing uh, Doctor Strange or torturing Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I don't know. It it was so. This is like beloved, right? And I think we probably made a lot of people mad, especially me, because I oh. couldn't remember this movie for anything. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold today, and I can't think straight. But uh, well, look, make better movies. Hey, yeah, let's let's pick up the pace here. I uh, I didn't really enjoy it. It was fun to watch. It was fun to see it from beginning to end, but it's not like one of my favorites. It's the only good thing it really does is like now when people say like, oh, have you seen Alien? You could be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not to be like that guy who hasn't seen Alien. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I uh, I was kind of disappointed because I thought this was going to be really good. Like that's how people talk about it, right? Like this is, this is, you have to have seen this movie. This is one of the best. And it was fine. And I know it was better when it came out. But again, now yeah. in my own context of when I am alive and with everything I've seen, it's not that exciting. It's pretty boring. And it, there's definitely not exciting. Yeah. Um, I much preferred if it were to put on like a top hat and cane and then do a something. <laughs> Are you excited for aliens? Um, 
I don't know if I'm excited. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Just because, like, presumably it'll be better. Yeah. I don't know if it actually is or not, but. Yeah, I think it is, but I, I don't know. I think Alien 3 is the worst. I think people oh. love the first one. Alien well, 2 is good. We all know the good. third one is the worst. Yeah, every third one is terrible. But Aliens 3 is supposed to be really bad. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I have seen the movie. <laughs> yeah. You have seen well, it? We can talk about that later. No, I've seen... I, I knew there was a, a movie I'd watched this week, and I couldn't remember what it was. I oh, know. gotcha. But... Um, I, but yeah. Oh. yeah, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. I'm not getting my hopes up. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about Alien? Um, I am not a huge fan of Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, me either. I don't like her. I I I think she's a good actress, but there, I think she has a weird face. <laughs> um, yeah, that's I guess. really all that's based on. She had a weird haircut in this for sure. Yeah, good old. I didn't mullet. care for the haircut. The but, uh, weird <laughs> orphan Annie haircut. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll be back next week. Um, next coming out is probably Predator Two or Predators. Then me and Taylor will be back with Alien 2, or Aliens. The naming oh, scheme of yeah. this. The naming scheme of this is almost as bad as Fast and the Furious. So it goes Alien, Alien Aliens, Aliens, Alien 3, two, Fast 2, Alien, Alien Covenant, Alien. Um, what, I, can't, I can't see it. Uh, Retribution, maybe? And Prometheus is one of them. How, you said there's six? Six, yeah. Plus the Alien versus Predators. Okay. And then isn't there like a sequel to Prometheus? Covenant. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I so, feel like I saw something like Requiem or something. Requiem, that's what it was. Yeah, I, th- I think I said Retribution. but Requiem. Retribution. But yeah, so we will be back with that. Uh, thanks for listening. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. If you're listening to this, the podcast, if you could leave us a review on iTunes, that helps us out. And uh, we'll be back later.